Piers Morgan's an international celebrity, but the phone hacking investigation's interested in his previous career as editor of The Mirror. In a statement, he said that in early November, I was asked to attend an interview by officers from Operation Wheating when I was next in the UK. I attended that interview as requested on 6th of December 2013. Mr Morgan was a star turn at the Leveson inquiry into press standards where he denied knowing about phone hacking in the industry. Did you see this sort of thing going on, Mr Morgan? No. Are you sure about that? 100%. Piers Morgan did tell the inquiry he once heard a recording of a voicemail left by Sir Paul McCartney for his then girlfriend. I listened to a tape of a message, yes. But it was a voicemail message, wasn't it? Uh, I believed it was, yes. Met detectives on the phone hacking investigation have so far interviewed under caution or arrested six journalists who worked for the Mirror Group. The company itself had no comment to make today. Piers Morgan himself has a habit of generating news headlines. Tonight is no different. He's always out there, he's larger than life, and unsurprisingly, you know, it, whenever Piers Morgan gets near a story, you know, the temperature goes up. I'm not going to say more than I just say. Mr Morgan's current employer, CNN, said it was aware at the time that he'd been interviewed by police. It had nothing more to add. Matt Proger, BBC News.